Hello and good evening. My name is Carrie Grace Latower and thank you for joining me for the contemplative service in the spirit of Tese, which is offered through St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in Seattle, Washington. Um, I'm also joined today by Kester Limner and Andy Myers, two other parishioners who have contributed beautiful music for this service. So I hope wherever you are and, and however you are this week, um, you can find a quiet space to listen in, to sing, to pray, um, and to draw more deeply into presence. This week is the fifth Sunday in Easter. So happy Easter tide. And the focus of the scripture is on the vine and the branches. And I will open us this week with a poem um, or meditation. I think it's actually a prayer <laughs> from uh, Catherine of Siena, a um, church mother, as it were, from the 14th century. This is called Engrafted to Divinity. And you, high eternal trinity, acted as if you were drunk with love, infatuated with your creature. When you saw that this tree could bear no fruit but the fruit of death, because it was cut off from you who are life, you came to its rescue with the same love with which you had created it. You engrafted your divinity into the dead tree of our humanity. O oh, sweet, tender and grafting, you, sweetness itself, stooped to join yourself with our bitterness. Blessed be God, creator, redeemer, and spirit of love. And blessed be God's beloved community, now and forever. Grace to you and peace from God, our creator, the love at our beginning and without end, in our midst and with us now. God is with us. Here we find new life.
Let us take a moment now to move more deeply into silence and resting in God. Living spirit, whose breath gives life to the world and whose voice is heard in the soft breeze, we need your strength and wisdom. Come breathe among us and within us. Gather us with your whole creation as together we embody the transforming love of Christ Jesus, our Redeemer. Amen. As I went down in the river to pray, studying about the good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Oh, sinners, let's go down, let's go down, come on.
the starry crown, good Lord, show me the way. Our scripture this week comes from the Gospel of John. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit because apart from me, you can do nothing.
our students and teachers who are returning to school buildings, that they would find joy and build meaningful relationships. who are struggling financially, that they would receive grace, assistance, and dignity. For those who are sick with COVID, and for the hospitals that are overrun, especially in India, we pray for relief and cooperation. Oh Lord, we pray. For all those who are suffering from war and strife, especially for our brothers and sisters in Afghanistan and North Africa. For scientists, researchers, and policymakers, who are investing in environmental solutions. Guide us towards insight and bless us with new tools to create health, life, and equality. Oh Lord, we pray. At this time, I invite you to pray with me in silence. If you have any candles, please light them or pray with me as I light mine. Come, let us offer our hearts to the Holy One. And now would you pray with me the Lord's Prayer? This version will be printed on your screen. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Loving God, in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trial too great to endure, spare us. 
from the grip of all that is evil. Free us, for you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. In reflection on our theme of God as the vine and us as the branches, uh, I came across another reading from Catherine of Siena called Engrafted to Neighbors, in which she talks about how we are branches together. You then are my workers. You have come from me, the supreme eternal gardener, and I have engrafted you onto the vine by making myself one with you. Keep in mind that each of you has your own vineyard, but everyone is joined to the neighbor's vineyards without any dividing lines. They are so joined together, in fact, that you cannot do good or evil for yourself without doing the same for your neighbors. May it be so. Amen. Well, another week has gone by and thank you for joining us, for joining me today. Um, we always appreciate that so many of you gather virtually um, in this sacred space and hope that it has been a blessing. Please feel free to leave comments on YouTube um, and we can respond to them and appreciate them as well. But it's good to be with you and let me give us a blessing for the journey and ascending forth in peace. The peace of the living Christ be always with you. Let us go forth bearing God's peace to the world. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.
Show.